Okay, welcome to the Dedicated Photographer's first official screencast. Today's video is going to show you how you can put together a wall display using photos from the session and a picture from the session of the client's wall or a space in the house that you think would look good with some photographs. Okay, so I'm going to dive right in here. Um, it's best to have open the picture of the wall. I've got the full file open here, as well as the pictures I'm considering putting on the wall. Okay, so let's go to that first picture that I'm considering. Um, I've cropped it as an 11 by 14 at 150 DPI so that it's large enough for me to shrink down into that space. Uh, because the client was interested potentially in framed prints in that space, I want to create that look for her. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into image, canvas size. I'm going to click on relative here because I'm going to just put basically two pixels worth of framing just around. You can barely even notice it's there, but it will be a nice little separator with the white mat. I'm going to go in again. Now I'm going to add the white mat. I'm going to take relative off. I'm going to add basically two inches on each side, which is a total of four. So that's 18 up top. And then for the height, we're going to be at 15 when we add four inches. I'm going to make that white. Okay, and now I'm going to add a frame around the edge going into canvas size again, adding a full inch around the entire thing. It's going to be brown. So I've got a brown color out there. And that is the picture I'm planning on using for that wall display. So now I'm going to click back, back on the wall display. I'm going to drag that picture over and now I'm going to drag it onto the wall. Okay, so now I need to shrink that down. It's obviously too big by doing Command T on the Mac or I think it's Control T on Windows in Windows. Okay, I'm going to hold down the Shift key so I can keep all the ratios the same and get it considerably smaller. I'm going to bring it over here, push Enter. Okay, I'm going to bring down a guide just so I can line up the other pictures there. Okay, I'm going into my next picture, which I've already done the same thing to with the canvas size. I'm going to drag it over. I'm going to sort of line it up there. Again, Command T or Control T. Hold down the Shift key. Bring it in. Now at this point, it's a good idea to have actually, push Enter. It's a good idea to have a little guide on the bottom as well. Okay, now I'm going to bring in the third picture, which I've prepared. Bring it over over here again command T hold down the shift and bring that up okay so now I'll just move the pictures around so that they're approximately where I want them which that looks decent um, then I'm going to clear the guides okay, I like to add a little bit of shadow underneath uh, the pictures to give it some um, dimension some three dimension uh, or more dimension <laughs> and I'm going to go into here okay I click on drop shadow and then I actually sort of highlight that drop shadow box here I'm going to put in for distance spread and size I'm going to put in 20 10 and 20 Whoops. okay I'm also going to lower the opacity to about 50 and actually I'm sort of covering it up but you can see it here Okay, now sometimes this angle is over here, in which case that's, that's where you would have it if you had your sort of shadow following along here. But I, this suits where the shadow should fall right now based on the light coming from this direction. I'm going to say OK. Now I'd like to also just basically recreate that on these two pictures. So I will hold down the Option key on the Mac and just simply drag that up. It copies and sort of takes it up, copies it and takes it up. So now it's on all the pictures and I have completed my beautiful wall display for my clients. Okay, and there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that video. Have a great day.